uh, today we're covering what social media is right for you. Um, People ask me all the time, you know, this sounds really complicated. I don't have time to be on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube and everything else. And I totally agree. (laughs) Um, I do think that you should have a profile on all those things because it's really good for your reputation management. And because I'm a search engine optimization person, I think that you should really be in control of everything on your first page of Google. Um, And the way you get there is to just open a lot of profiles that have your name on them and then um, update them and kind of make them rank on page one. So um, you do have to have the profiles, but you don't have to necessarily use all of them. So I think that's a common misconception that makes people kind of not want to get engaged in the process. And I totally get that. But um, here's just going to be a little talking to you about trying to get you to figure out what kind of social media is right for you. The reason that you need all these profiles, again, is uh, for your reputation management. Um, Also, there is an opportunity cost to not having things properly set up. And by that, I mean, let's just say you write a lot about the subject of um, fitness in children or childhood obesity. Um, if If there suddenly is a huge news story about that, You want to be able to comment on that in the media. And if you don't have everything set up properly, you're going to miss that opportunity. So um, somebody needs an expert, for for example, they're going to Google childhood fitness, childhood obesity, and they're going to look for an expert. And if you're nowhere to be found, um, you're going to miss that opportunity. These are examples of, um, you know, these are real examples of people that I know that haven't gotten themselves together and then something will hit the news and they're just not prepared to comment on it or to be in touch in that way about it. So um, that is an opportunity cost to you. Or if you have a great idea for a blog post, but, um, you know, you haven't syndicated everything properly, then the the maximum amount of people aren't going to see that blog post. So that's kind of a, not a waste of your time, um, but it is not using your time as efficiently as you could use it. Also, um, as an SEO person, I'll say that every time um, something links back to your website, it just makes your web presence stronger. So um, that's why to have all these different profiles and to have them all link back to your website, it just makes your site stronger. Um, I would say syndicate everything. Everything you write should end up on all of your different little profiles. Like um, if you write a blog post, it should come out as a tweet. It should be pulled through your Facebook fan page. Um, It should be referred to through your RSS feed um, throughout the various profiles I've mentioned. You can use um, a service called IFTTT, which I'll link to below. Um, It does take a little setting up, but you basically build recipes. So you'll say, you know, if I do a blog post, then also post that to Twitter, then also pull that through my Facebook fan page. Um, Like I said, this does take a little bit of setting up. You also can connect it through um, the WordPress Jetpack, if you have that installed, or through Hootsuite. Um, You can sign up for a free account. You don't have to go all professional. Um, this just makes it so you get the maximum bang for your blogging buck, you know, or for your anything buck, like anything you post should go all over so that people see it and then it builds, um, strength and, you know, we call it link juice to your website. Um, so the, the thing that I would ask you is once you've gotten all of this stuff set up, what is it that you like to do? You know, a lot of times authors will force themselves onto Twitter or and it's just not a good fit for them or they force themselves onto Instagram because they think that, you know, well, people like that, so I should do it. But um, I would say, you know, why don't you just go back to basics and try to think, what what do I like to do? You know, if you like to take photos, um, why don't you try Instagram? You know, I like to take photos of weird food and street signs and people people like it. And then I have a link that goes back to my blog so people can kind of find out more about me. And, you know, it has nothing to do with the street signs, but, you know, that's what kind of makes me an interesting person besides just a writer or an SEO person. Like people don't want to talk all business all the time. You know, maybe they want to see a picture of weird food that I tweeted. Um, so that that could be Instagram. Um, are you a quippy and funny person? Um, go on to Twitter and see if you can just you know, be funny or talk about TV or like whatever uh, you like to talk about. 
Um, are you a crafty person? No, I am not. But uh, I, I do know several people in this space who are, they like knitting or they like doing crafts with their kids and they are all over Pinterest. They love it. Um, again, it doesn't have to be you talking about your book all the time. It just has to be you being an interesting person. And that's, you know, what I'm really trying to get to. Um, do you like to make videos? I don't mean book trailers. Um, get on YouTube, you know. YouTube is a huge uh, community of people, you know, making videos and sharing them and talking to each other back and forth. So, you know, maybe you're an interesting person who likes to video blog or vlog. There's a new term. Um, so try getting on YouTube. You know, you get a YouTube account for free with your Gmail as well. So go over and set that up. Try taping yourself and see if you like it. Who, who knows? Also, uh, another good thing to, to ask yourself is, uh, you know, you're a writer, so you probably like talking and um, that's in the written form. So, you know, maybe go over to Goodreads, talk about books, not just your books, but books. Um, go over to LinkedIn. People talk about business over there. Um, on Twitter, people talk about everything. You know, you can search by hashtag. It's, it's really just to ask yourself, what do I like to talk about? Where can I go to talk about it? You know, or, you know, in the last slide, it was, what do I like to do? And where can I go to do that? So this is just kind of a more user-friendly way of getting you to get on a form of social media without pressuring yourself or putting like a square peg in a round hole and, you know, getting on something that you really don't like doing because then it will seem forced and artificial. Um, why is this important? Uh, you got to get out there in some, in some way. Once you've got everything set up, you know, you're, you, you got to get yourself out there. You know, you, that is where you kind of do have to push yourself to go out and find something that you like doing. Um, you will find something that you like. There is a form of social media for everyone. So, um, you're building awareness of yourself and your brand. You know, you're getting your picture out there. You're getting your intelligence out there. You're getting your funny personality out there, whatever. Um, you are also getting links back to your website so that you get, um, you know, complete control of your Google results and your reputation management. Um, so I guess the, the overall importance of this, you know, this is a short video, but it's kind of a big message, which is to um, just try something. You know, you might think you hate it, but, but maybe you haven't given everything a chance. Maybe you just haven't found the right thing yet. Um, what if you actually enjoy it? I know. Um, seriously, set yourself up and get out there and try something um, this week. Try Pinterest. Try Instagram. Try Twitter. You're going to have to just get out there and stumble and, you know, maybe something will click. Maybe it won't. But you, you have to kind of put yourself out there and try things so that you can see what might be a good fit for you. All right, um, thanks so much for watching and get out there and try something.